Hey y'all, my name's Corinne. Welcome to Planting 101, Healthy Air at Home, where my mission is for everyone to utilize Mother Nature's air filtration system, plants. So today's video is on zero waste. Okay, so let me clarify the idea about zero waste. So many people think, oh, you have to recycle, you have to compost everything, you have to be 100% zero waste, and that's it. Everything else is unacceptable. That's not my philosophy. With these videos, with my zero waste videos, my plan is for everyone to do little by little, small things will make a big impact. If we all do small things, they will add up, all right? So I have a few tips for us, all right? Zero waste, all right. For my first zero waste video, I recommended for everyone to, when you go out and instead of ordering a large, order a medium, order a small. It's great for your waistline. And also it's less, it's less waste in the landfills. Okay. So that was one of my recommendations from the first video. Okay. My second recommendation is, do you know, everyone gets individual sliced cheeses, right? This paper from the individual sliced cheeses are not recyclable. So what I recommend is when you go to the deli, get bulk cheese or ask for just um, one or two slices of this paper um, when you go to the deli. Less, what I'm asking for is our goal is less, okay? Less is more, all right? So just ask for less and you're on your way towards zero waste. Second thing, our toothbrushes. So they say that people change their toothbrushes uh, between one and three months, right? Even though you're supposed to change them pretty much every month, okay? So that is a lot of plastic that is going in the dumpster, right? So how can we get biodegradable toothbrushes? Where are they and how much are they? So I went on a search <laughs> and some biodegradable toothbrushes are, are pretty costly, okay? They could be between five and $20, honestly. But I went on a hunt at the dollar store and guess what they have at the dollar store, okay? So one way we can make a huge impact is by changing our toothbrushes for our whole family, okay? If you're a family of four, every month changing your toothbrush to biodegradable, that's a huge impact you can make for Mother Earth, okay? My next recommendation is to save your care cards when you buy plants. So that way, if you decide to uh, propagate like I do, make more baby plants, you could just stick these, reuse these in the pots, okay? Yeah, all right. My last recommendation is for my, for my fellow planters. If you plan, I'm, I'm planning on uh, growing berries. I just planted blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. So what we've decided to do as a family is we're saving these plastic containers. So when our crop is ready to be picked, is ripe for the picking, <laughs> we have our containers here and we can just put our strawberries right in the containers, recycle or use, right? Awesome. All right, so just a quick recap. Number one, you know, go to small and medium when you go out. Don't order the largest. Okay, buy large. Adios. Go to a bulk cheese or ask for less of the individual sliced paper. Okay, because that's not biodegradable. So please use less of that, y'all. The berry containers for all my fellow planters that are planning on um, planting some berries. Save your containers. Okay. Biodegradable toothbrushes. They're at the dollar store. All right. And last one, save your care cards. All right, because you never know when you're going to need them or have to refer back to them. All right. Awesome, y'all. Planting 101, healthy air at home with current zero waste. Bye, y'all.